Hey guys, my name is Confident. Welcome to the 24 minute lesson except where I will be sharing with you some ideas, some methods, some strategies or concepts that you can incorporate as you prepare for your final exams, be it you're studying for your mathematics N1, your N2 or your N3. Now, if these videos are handy and you are benefiting from them, you can actually press the like button or if you've got some ideas, you can leave some comments below. If you also like to be notified of extra videos every time we post them, you can subscribe to our channel and then you'll get some notification every time there are new videos. And also, if you are interested in some of our resources, be it test books and some videos, you can check this at the end of this video. We will send you some information. Now, let's check this concept out. Hey guys, I wanted to bring this word problem for you as you prepare for your final exams in your mathematics n2 and uh, word problems come sometimes can become tricky and if you analyze them properly some of them are simple that you can actually get all the marks almost all the word problems that i usually see in your mathematics n2 are between three and four marks though sometimes it looks like there's a lot of working involved but if you feel like you can go for it i would encourage you to go for it now, most students usually ignore this part, but it's a section sometimes that is very simplified, but I encourage you to do it after you have done all your curriculum and do this just before your final exams. Now, um, another thing that I always advise, don't dwell much in your final exam on this word problem. You find a student now spending 30 mi minutes just trying to figure out what's happening and two things are going to happen. You're going to lose time. Remember, you lose a track of time trying to solve it, and which means you're not going to finish your exam. Secondly, you're going to get mental fatigue because the more you try it and the more it gets complicated, the more you get tired. So the time you reach the other sections, your mind will already be tired, meaning you'll be now able to, uh, I mean, meaning you'll be prone to make errors, to make wrong calculations, and you're panicking because time is no longer uh, as, as, as enough as you think i mean as you started because you'll be seeing that time is uh is is, is now um you're out of time for your final exams so don't become too sensitive on this format leave it if it's complicated come back to it after you have finished the whole exam i hope this was a good hint for you now let's look at this question it says a bag contains 60 green and white balls Okay, 60 green and white balls. So here we have a bag. Think of a bag like this. You know, inside this bag, you have got some balls. They say it's green. So it's like you're having this. I hope this represents my green. So there is a bag. It got 60 of these balls and also, it has got white balls. So we have got also white, you know? So it's 60 green and white. We are not told, don't say that there are 60 green only. You see, that is where they want to confuse that. So you might think that it says there are 60 green and then and white balls. No, there are 60 green and white. So this statement on its own is like this. What is one is 60 and then this is you must be read as one thing 60 green and white not 60 green and white balls so in this bag you don't know how many of the 60 so in total here you have got 60 balls all right in total you have got 60 balls and these balls you have got green here all right they are green so for green we will use g and then there are white balls, which we're going to use the word W. You'll see why I'm saying that. So a bag contains 60 green and white pool balls. Then it says twice the number of green balls is nine more than white balls. So this statement already can be form can form a mathematical uh, statement, but we'll come back to that. Then it says calculate the number of green and white balls respectively so let's start with the first simpler uh equation now most of these questions like this are simultaneous equations because 
if they don't give you the normal simultaneous equation or simultaneous equation, it means they will give you a weight problem, which in a way they are testing you if ever, if ever you are able to, to solve simultaneous equations. Now, if, if they bring both, which means they wanted you, you, if you're not ready with those equations, you lose some more marks. Now, a bag contains 60. See? So inside this bag, there are 60. So which means if I take green balls, which is my G, I add them with white balls, which is W, I must find a total of 60 balls. So that is the first equation there. Remember what I said? If I take the green balls and I add them with the white balls, I will get 60. That's equation one. You can see G plus W is equal to 60. The next one says twice. So with that word twice means two. Twice the number of green balls. 2G, you see? Twice the number of green balls. So what I have is 2G. Twice the number of green balls is, mean equal sign, is nine more. So nine more, more there means plus, is nine more, nine plus, is nine more than the white balls. Nine plus the white balls is, is W there, is nine plus W. So that is how equation two was forming up. So the statement itself changes into an equation. So 2G is equal to nine plus W. And then the question is find or calculate the number of green balls and white balls. So it's a matter of solving for G and W using simultaneous equation. And there are many different ways that you can use. I will use the simpler version of solving this one. And if I'm going to solve it in a simpler way, I'm going to match the, um, the second equation into the first whereby the, the W will join the 2G. So I'm going to have in here 2G. Now is positive. It becomes minus W is equal to nine. As I say, this is equation now three. But if I bring equation one down, it is G plus W is equal to 60. Remember, this is equation one. So now you can see W is negative and in the first, in the third, in equation three and W is positive in equation one. I can literally add these. Remember when you're adding is 2G plus G, which is 3G. Let me write it actually as I'm talking it to say this is, um, what I'm doing here is 2G plus G minus W plus W is equal to 9 plus 60. You get that? 2G plus G is 3G and this one is gone. That's why we call this method the elimination method. Now, if you want to get more of that, all, all, I will encourage you to get hold of that uh, Mathematics N2. Uh, the book that I wrote is called Mathematics N2 for the underdogs. I write a book with videos where I deal with this kind of substitution uh, in a more detailed way and you will never get that wrong. So you've got 3G is equal to 69, right? Divide by 3 now because we have to get rid of 3 from the G. So that we have now our G is equal to, um, I think is 30, is 2069 divided by 3 is 23. All right. So we got this. Now the next thing I managed to get my G, then I can go to any of the equations. It can be equation one or equation two. Let me use equation one. Remember equation one is G plus W is equal to 60. Now I know my G, which is 23 plus W is equal to 60. Now what I need to do is to take 23 to the other side. Then I will have W is equal to 60 minus 23. And then my W there will give me, if I do that, 60 minus 23 is equal to 37. So I'll have my W as 37. So the question is, the question was find, uh, calculate the number of green balls and white balls respectively. So you can therefore say green balls 
equal to, we say the green balls, they were 23, no, 22 is 23, and you then say uh, white balls is equal to 37. And you can actually test it to say, they say it when you add these balls, they are 60. So if you say 23 plus 37, it simply gives you 60. This is not a way kind of proving, but you just, you can't test it like that because if you are wrong in interpreting your equation, the answer will still be wrong. But this is just trying to see that you didn't make some silly errors in terms of um, the word 60 there. So that is how you could have solved this. Now, I hope this was of benefit to you. Remember to like our channel. Remember to subscribe to our channel so that we can post more of these videos. Remember to also forward or share this channel with your friends as well as your colleagues. It will also be able to assist them. Now, if you want more of this information, I've got a test book that I have written called Mathematics N2 for the Underdogs. I call it an underdog because I was an underdog in this mathematics subject. But you know what? I rose from being an underdog to become the guy who is writing that particular textbook for mathematics and two the good part about it is it is already coming from a person who struggled with maths who had a tough time with maths and the examples and the way i teach it already consider someone who is average or even below average in their maths so it will be able to take you from that point where you feel like maths is impossible or maths is difficult to simplify it in a way that will make you pass your exam without any any much difficulty just check the resources at the end of this channel and I hope they'll be of assistance to you. Thank you. I hope the video that you just watched was of benefit to you. And as I said, if you benefited from the video, you can press the like button or you can leave us a comment below. And if you want to be notified of these videos, you can always uh, subscribe to our channel. Now, if you want the full curriculum of this mathematics, if you're studying for mathematics N1, N2 or N3 and you want the test book as well as the videos we have a full um, curriculum of the mathematics N1, N2, N3 as well as the accompanying videos. We also have videos of the previous question papers, the latest papers that were written in video form. These question papers can assist you as you prepare for your exams. We also have PDF version of the previous question papers that were, that were written since 2014 until now. And if you want them, you can check all the information from our website. And trust me, these will become very handy to you. Uh, we sell them at a very discounted prices and it is worth the try. Thank you.